later stages of when I'm going to Hong Kong, so I'm doing one of the more advanced movements, and Sigma will start teaching me the advanced movements later on. So Bill G would be uh, near the end of the training with Sigma. Yes, and I got to the level that he was taking me much more seriously and he was starting to train me hands-on much more than the other people. Initially when I started going, he would walk around the room. As I started to get stuff, then he would spend much more time on me. I did it well enough that he decided to refine it. With everything he did, he always let me do it. Um, there was never any point where oh, I've got it down and he can't stop me. Same as with my students, I can always stop them. It's not about that. But he, I did it well enough that he says, okay, that's a good start. And then usually what he'd do that he didn't do in this video is he'd let me do it and then he'd stop me and um, show me that I couldn't do it and then he'd give me a chance to get back again. Yeah. It was a feeling like so the chi wasn't doing what it should do. It, like, kind of like a deflated balloon rather than one that's blowing up. You, it's very hard to describe it, you the feeling that it's going to work, you know it's going to work. Uh, the interesting thing with that is that I find that with my students too, it's suddenly changed when I teach people that with my senior students, rather than years ago they used to say, was that it? never happens now and they and quite suddenly stop from saying that saying I knew it was going to work you know and that's when you are actually doing things right. Yeah once he set me up you feel something change in your body that I can't really put into words but you absolutely know things are going to work when that happens. It happens in here all the time with the senior students not with the junior students. Uh, as long as it's not single stop me, I feel really confident. Let's just do this. Right, so, way it works is like this. Now, the mistake, the wrong thing to do is to push on that point there. Also, if I push there like that, you know, I'm pushing the body, nothing's going to happen. Has that in it, so it draws in. You're actually drawing in and turning at the same time, not pushing around like that. If I push around like that, I'm running out of the line of all the way I do it. This way, I'm just drawing into myself. So, the second describe is that everything comes into the one point. He actually said one time that this is the most powerful movement in Wing Chun. From here. Thank you.